Hello， 大家好，大家好。啊、uh, ，我介绍一下我自己，我叫杨鹏举，我的英文名字叫 Albert。啊、呃，我今年四十八岁。四十八岁 ，Do you know what means 四十八 ？Forty-eight。今天是我的生日。啊，生日快乐！对呀。生日快乐！祝你生日快乐！啊，我。我家里有一个很可爱的孩子，是一个男孩他今年九岁，九、嗯、岁、嗯、就啊，然后他的名字叫 Timothy，Tim，Timothy， Timothy,、嗯、我的妻子叫 Anna， 我跟你看一下我们家的照片。我让你看一下我们家的照片，呃，这就是我啊，这是我妻子安娜，这个是我的儿子 Timothy， 嗯，他是三年级，嗯，然后啊、呃，这个是去年的今天，这是去年。我们也有一个西班牙的学生，他十六岁，他在 c a n West have a birthday party。啊，十六岁。In the summer camp, and I got a summer camp last year. 你知道他是谁吗？安娜的儿子。This is Anna's son. 好，啊、uh, uh, ，我再给你介绍一下我们家的家人。这是我妈妈，嗯，我妈妈今年七十六，这是我的侄儿子、uh, ，my nephew， 他今年二十五岁， uh, uh, 这是我的 niece， 他今年二十二岁。这个是我的儿子 Timothy。嗯嗯。啊，我喜欢飞滑翔伞 （paragliding）。啊，会。I will show you a short video about I'm flying paragliding. Wait a moment. Okay. <laughs> 你能看得到视频吗 ？Can you see it? Yeah. This is me. I'm doing paragliding. Put the video.、Uh, uh, I do one more time. 你，你们能介绍一下你们自己吗 ？Who want to introduce yourself? You can start. Pilar, you start. Eh, voy a voy a Pilar. Voy si si sué. Woman si shambau tai. Shambau tai. Si sué. Woman si shambau tai. 对，双胞胎。我我听得到。You are the twin. You are sixteenth. You are Pilar. Very good Chinese. 说的很好，汉语说的很不错。嗯。So how about you? 哎，我我叫伊莎贝尔，我你好，十六岁，十六岁，嗯，我喜欢打打打网球。你喜欢打网球？啊，我儿子马斯也喜欢打网球。啊，你也喜欢？没有，我儿子，我儿子马斯他喜欢打网球。嗯，很好 ，very good。嗯，那你喜欢唱歌跳舞吗
Tiao. Eh, wo shi huan wo chang bi tiao hao. Chang bi tiao hao. Wo shi huan. Eh, dan shi wo jue de pilar shi zui shi huan tiao. Wo ji dao xi ba ya ren tiao bu tiao de han hao. La bing hao. Ah. 很高兴认识皮拉跟伊莎贝尔。很高兴认识。Carmen。啊，诶，你好，我叫 Carmen， 我有十四岁。十四岁。诶，我。十四岁，对。很喜欢诶打篮球。诶，篮球。打网球，打网球。那对，他们你高不高 ？Are you very tall？ 你个子高不高？呃，高。我我不知道，我觉得我是高。高。高。No, es que tiene que tener cuatro. One sixty four. One sixty four. 你的年龄，你已经很高了，不，很高，你才十四岁。You will keep growing, so later on you will be much taller. <laughs> so, did you see my background picture? Yes. This is a jungle. This is a garden. It is in the Kunming, just in my village. This garden is called. 黑龙潭 ，Black Dragon Pool， 安娜，你已经去过了。It's a not far from Tan West. It's a public park. It's a very beautiful view. 嗯，嗯，嗯。Yeah. So this year, if they want to come, they are welcome to come to our program. We will visit this park. 嗯，对。So I'm so glad to share with you the culture difference with European and the Chinese. Uh, could you tell me any differences you found? Do you have any Chinese friends? Um, At least the, you have a I, Chinese teacher, I'm sure. Yes, uh, I have a, a Chinese friend. Uh. Well, you can see the Chinese friends with the Chinese friends. Yes. 对中国人用筷子，还有有什么其他不一样的地方？诶、嗯，中国的菜诶不一样诶，西班牙的菜。你觉得中国菜好吃吗？对，要吃。对，我喜欢吃西班牙的那个 ham。啊，是，他们是那种好吃。呃，每次安娜跟其他的西班牙同学来昆明，他们会带很多很多ham，uncooked ham，very good。My boy loves her very much。嗯，我们也喜欢。我也希望有一天来西班牙玩。啊，my brother-in-law。他去过 Madrid， 还有他去过 Barcelona。啊，巴塞罗那是。巴牙很漂亮 ，very beautiful country。He loves so much. He always talk a lot about his trip to Spain. He gorgeous time in here. Albert, we are waiting. I'm waiting for you. It's your turn. Yeah, thank you. I wish I can come. Yeah, you will. So, today I want to talk to you about China and the European people. This PowerPoint slide show was created by a Chinese girl. She has been living in Germany. 
for almost 20 years. Then he feel a lot of differences. Then he draw many pictures to show the difference uh, the Germany, German people and the Chinese as the differences. So I will start the slide show. We can show, you can also tell me your opinion, what's the differences. It will mm -hmm. help you to mm -hmm. understand more about Chinese. What is the Chinese way of life? What is their thinking? How they treat the people or their point of view? So I will start with the PowerPoint slideshow. Can you see it? Yes, yes, we can. Yes, do it. Uh, I will start. Uh, differences between Germans and the Chinese, but I should say it's a difference between European and the Chinese. Mm. So this, uh, this is the girl, he draw a lot of pictures. Her name is uh, Liu Yang, uh, the same family name with me. Her family name is Yang. Ah, uh, Yang. Yeah. Mm. So she is born in Beijing. I'm uh, four years older than her. She is uh, four years younger than me. So she lived in Germany since the 1990. Okay, so let's begin this PowerPoint slideshow. So in those pictures, Tayo Lanse Daibiao De Guo Ren. Lanse Daibiao De Guo Ren. Hongse Daibiao Zhong Guo Ren. Because the Chinese love the red color. So he used a red color represent for Chinese. Let's okay. continue. Number one is uh, expression opinions. Woman saw Zhongguo Hua Shi saw Biao Da Guan Dian, Biao Da Express. Guan Dian is an uh, opinion, Biao Da Guan Dian. Uh, I want to ask you a few questions. If you want to express your opinion, what you will do? Do you want to show your opinion directly? Or you will not uh, spit out your feeling, your opinion directly? What do you usually do? Maybe directly. I will ask one of your students. So Isabel, how do you express your opinion? Directly uh, or indirectly? Directly. Directly, yeah. I say it straight away. Yeah, European, if they're happy, they say they're happy. If you're not happy, they're angry, they will say, I'm not happy, I'm angry, right? But Chinese, they are seldom express opinion directly. For example, if they're happy, they say happy will be easy. But uh, if a Chinese be angry with somebody, they didn't want to offend someone. Do you know Mianzi? Have you heard of Mianzi, lose face? Do you heard anything Chinese are very, very uh, concerned about losing face? Have you heard anything no. about this? No, no, it's new. Yeah, Chinese, it's a number one. We do not want to lose face in front of the others. So sometimes uh, you are very angry. You say some bad say directly or say I'm very angry, maybe offend the other people. So uh, because this, we are trying not to losing, lo losing face in front of the other. So they will not uh, directly say their feeling. Or another thing is why Chinese didn't like to express their opinion directly. I always think about this question. Did you saw the Italian, European, you like eat the pizza, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. The pizza, yes. you already show everything what's on it. It's a pepperoni or fruit or any food, you already know it. But do you know Chinese, we like to eat the baozi. 
they mm -hmm. would like to eat the dumpling. You do mm -hmm. not know what inside, right? Mm -hmm. Until you eat it. So mm -hmm. they always want to cover their feeling. And another thing the Westerners, they like a sandwich or a hamburg. You can see what's inside it directly. But the Chinese always like a spring roll. You do not know what's inside. Yes. So Chinese, for example, another thing is that if you want to find a friend to help you, sometimes they will not directly say, please help me to move my car or please help me doing something. First, they will say something else. Say, oh, your clothes are very pretty. How are you? Are you busy? Uh, do you have a lot of work to do? Do you are available? Something like this. Until your friend shows he is very willing to be friend with you or he is not busy. Then next step, he will say, are you free this Saturday? Could you help me move, move my house or I'm moving to some place? So they will not directly say their opinion until they feel safe. And they feel this friend may not uh, refuse your request. Then he will say what he really want to say. So do you understand sometimes it's very difficult for you, right? To do yes. friends with, because sometimes you do not know what they really want to, what is really want to express their opinion. And uh, another thing is this is a uh, many of uh, business people tell me. Uh, in China, we they want to do business with the Chinese. European will directly say, I want to buy something or I want to sell you something, but Chinese not. What is the Chinese people doing before they doing business with you? Do you know what they will do? What do you think? Think about it. What do, they th what do you think they will do before doing any kind of business? Uh, like go to eat or... or... Yeah, would first they want to know you, be your friend. After they think uh, to become a good friend, and uh, then next step, they will talk about business. If they think uh, this, this person is not uh, worthy to trust, they will not uh, talk uh, further or more sense for business. So in China, first be a friend. Then what is the Chinese like to do? They want to invite you to eat, drink especially. Because they think mm -hmm. if someone drunk, then someone mm -hmm. will tell about the truth. They mm -hmm. know what is uh, their bottom line. Then when they do the business, they really know your bottom line. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. yes. So this uh, Chinese is not directly immediately say their opinion. They will do some say other things at the last they feel safe or they think they are really interesting with you and uh, you do have some say we're really able to do business they will do the at the end so after you become a good friend the rest of the things are much easier for you so in this picture the european they express their opinion directly but you saw chinese they do a lot of a uh, tweaking circle at the end, they will show their uh, opinion. So this is the uh, European and the Chinese that the differences. Albert, can you say this in Chinese, please? So they can write it down. <laughs> Later on, I will post this uh, uh, slide show on the WeChat. Okay. Or, okay. Yeah. So, say it again in Chinese so they can write it down. 表达观点, 表达观点, 表达 is expressing, 观点, opinions, 表达观点, okay, okay. Uh, later I will put a pin in it, I will give you a word document, they have a pin in it, but uh, if you can write it down now, that will be much better, it's uh, help you to memorize. So let's do for next picture. 
the way of life. Do you know what the Chinese say life? Is anybody can read this Chinese words? Xianhua. Xianhua. Fang Shi. Who said this? Very good. Very good. Who said that? Who said that? Maybe in Bila. Isabel, no, estoy preguntando Isabel. Isabel, yo, yo. Ah, yo, yo. Good job, good job. Sen Huo Fang Shi. The way of life. Sen Huo Fang Shi. So, Very uh, this is, I found uh, really a uh, big difference. Not only European, even American. Everybody think I'm the center of the world. They always think about myself. I'm the important. I'm the number one. Everything should be satisfied myself. I'm the center of the world. So this is European. They think I'm very important. But the Chinese, they think one people is not important. A group of people is important. What is a group of people? Number one is their family. Family is a group of people. They think we are their union. So we must be working together. That way we are much powerful. If only by myself, I'm very lonely. I'm not important. Then I should uh, be a part of the family. I do my job. Then everyone do their job. They're working together, we are powerful. Uh, in English, there's a very famous saying, united we stand. So this is basically similar to this word. All people together, they were more powerful. So like a school, one class is a one family or one whole school is a big family. So they always think one people is not important. They always uh, involve their family life. I ask you a question, uh, because you're all girls. Someday you will find your husband, your boyfriend. Do you think uh, your opinion for choosing a boyfriend is number one, or your parents, your grandpa, your grandma opinion is more important than yours? Our opinion. Our opinion first. Yeah, you think uh, I'm the number one. Approach. I will find a husband I like it, right? Mm. If uh, you do not like it, your parents like it, maybe you think you will say no, right? In yes, China, yes. if you're really looking for a husband or wife, the family will involved. I should say your opinion, maybe half to half, family opinion is a uh, maybe 50%. Most of the time, if they have a boyfriend, you like very much, but their whole family against you, they say, it's not a good guy. Don't be friend with this guy. Sometimes, most of the time, maybe they will not continue their relationship. Or uh, this is a real situation. Do you know which uh, festival in China is the number one festival? Uh, New Year. Yes. Chinese New yeah. Year. Most of a single young girl, they will feel the big pressure in the Chinese New Year festival. Do you know what is the big pressure for them, for a single young lady? What? We don't you know. Give a size. What do you think? Um, um, because the uh, Chinese New Year is a family reunion time. You will visit your uncle, your aunt, your grandpa, grandma, your cousin. Yeah, or they will not a big, uh, the banquet, big party, or family Isabel reunion. Isabel, so, Isabel, what do you think? That uh, they will not uh, approve of your husband or boyfriend. That's right. Or, or sometimes if you are single, Maybe before you are 22 years old, now you're almost 30, 31, you're still single. Their whole family will 
tell you you should find a boyfriend, a girlfriend, or something uh, like that. For sure. A lot of pressure. Sure. There in China, they have a such kind of business. It's a very, very weird. They will rent a boyfriend or girlfriend just for Chinese New Year. Yes. The young people, they go to their big city, Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Kunming. Their Chinese New Year, they go back to their hometown. They feel big pressure. Then they go to Alan or APP, dating APP. They even, someone said, rent their girlfriend or rent for husband, uh, boyfriend. They, because they feel big pressure from a family. They, they have a contract say, I will campaign with you, go to your hometown for one week. Then you will pay 10,000 RMB or how much per day or something like that. So it sounds very, very well, but uh, this is a real thing we saw something happening. Only because uh, let your grandpa, grandma, or father, mother feel happy about it. But uh, in, in Spain, you will never see this, right? Never happen. Hey, no, no, we don't see this in Spain. Even we have some uh, movie talk about those, uh, those things. Okay, so I just let you know, in China, uh, one people is uh, not important. A whole family is is matter more important. So sometimes you always need to consider about your family, people around you, what they say. So this is one someone you are losing face more with your family. Uh, that means it's a, it's a very very bad things for Chinese. But uh, mm -hmm. Westerner, you you are. I'm the number one. You didn't care what the other people think, right? You are number one. Yeah. You care about what I'm saying. So uh, this is a big difference as a Chinese and a European. Okay, let's do for uh, picture number three. Punctuality. Uh, I want to ask you if you have a appointment. Say today. Two o'clock with my uh, special guest meeting with uh, Zoom. Do you think you will show on time or you will come earlier or you will be late? Uh, as on, time. on time. On time. But I'll uh, tell you the truth Chinese is not a punctuality. Usually they were late for. 10 to 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. This is a very common. And uh, another thing is that uh, uh, if uh, someone invite you, say come for my home for dinner, say it's a uh, Friday night, six o'clock. Do you know Chinese people will come on six o'clock? No. Usually mm -hmm. they were late for 15 minutes even for half an hour or even for one hour. This is a Chinese way. So if you know Chinese this culture, if you really wish they can come for six o'clock, you'd better say 5.30. Mm. <laughs> so you know Chinese will be late, so you'd better say a little bit earlier. So it's a little bit common, but I know it's not a good thing. I do not like it. There's a bad habit for what the Chinese have, but uh, it's a real I think, truth. Albert, in that sense, we are Spanish and a little bit like this. No Germans, not English, but Spanish. What do you think, girls? Uh, fa, fa, 10 minutes late, more or less, but there are people that will be- I think like Spanish Chinese. like uh, China also in that aspect, in punctuality. But uh, I saw in China, those kind of uh, things are improving because uh, mm -hmm. we are doing business with the outside world. Step by step, Chinese know it's not good. We should be punctuality, should be on time. So young people, the, those young generation is 
better than my parents' generation. So those senses are better and better, but they still have a big room to in de develop. Okay, let's do mm -hmm. for next one. Social contact. Relationship. So in Spain, do you think in Spain the relationship is a very simple or complicated? Uh, simple, no? Yeah, because uh, you know this, this is my friend, right? Or Chinese, the relationship is very, very complicated. If you have a big trouble, someone help, you will go ask your friend or your family. There, I ask my brother. My brother will say, my friend's friend maybe know this boss, can help you this business. So the relationship is very, very complicated. So another thing is um, why Chinese do not like to express their, their opinion directly. They want to do not offend the others because they do not know the other people what kind of a relationship they have. Mm -hmm. Maybe the other people have a very close relationship with your boss or someone very important. If you offend these people, maybe you have a trouble in future. Mm -hmm. So in China, the relationship is very, very complicated. So not like European, uh, in this picture, the relationship is very strict. Uh, but in China, the network is very complicated. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do the next one. The express the anger. Ah, that's the same as the opinion, no? Yes. Yeah, the same as the opinion. If you are angry, you say angry. Uh, if you are angry, sometimes we will not show on your face. Uh, I still uh, remember uh, my uh, grandma always teach me, sometimes you should be patient with the people. Don't be angry. Uh, mm -hmm. So they said that you will be uh, enduring or patient is the goal, he always say. Just give some time with the others. Do not have broken everything. Don't be sure you're angry with others. So this, uh, this is what makes you very, very complicated, uh, whether he is happy or not happy. So I want to ask you a question to see, how do you find out whether the Chinese uh, people is angry or not angry, or what is uh, his opinion? Because mm -hmm. you cannot... Uh, you can speak Chinese? Uh, 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 you can you can speak you Pilar, what do you mean? Uh, because uh, he, he told us before that uh, to know someone well, they usually or go out to have dinner or drink with them. So yeah. you have to do one of the two. Oh, some, you just say someone asks you to go out for drink the beer. What is the other choice? Going to eat. To Going to eat. There, uh, then what is your question? Why you uh, ask me those two choice? No, no, it's not a question. It's that it's to find out. Albert, oh. is uh, we are doing like a brainstorming to find out how will you get the real opinion of real your opinion. Chinese partner, friend, or business partner? How would you get the real opinion? And they are saying very smart because they, you were you were saying before that we can go for dinner, we can go for a drink, so you, you start to get a relation, yeah, a friend right. relation. I will tell you, 
uh, normally Chinese, to be honest, they, they love to invent their friend to go out to the eat. Everybody mm -hmm. loves this. But uh, I will say, if they think ask you for drink, you'd better say I never drink. Because uh, if you think you can drink, you will let you drunk. So you will say I have a healthy problem or I'm, I have a alert for alcohol or something. Mm -hmm. If you okay. do not want to drink, especially the people you are not know very well, don't, do not drink uh, easily. You will be trouble. Uh, maybe they will do some bad thing, maybe not always they're doing bad things, but uh, sometimes they want to find out what is your opinion, what do you think. They want to let you tell the truth. So start from a very beginning. You are, if you do not like drink, don't touch the alcohol, don't touch the beer from a very beginning. If you drink uh, a little bit, they will force you to drink more. <laughs> but go out to eat will be okay. And uh, also in China, there's a very bad habit. You know, the China, we eat the meal, we all share everything together. Like but, Spanish, like Spanish. Mm. Oh, mm. you are share everything, right? Yeah. Yes. And mm. there, it, for you, it's very common. Another it's thing, the, the Chinese like to put the food on your plate, on your bowl. Mm. Even you said, I'm full, they will keep, keep continue, put more. Yes. That happens so to us. If you think you are full, don't touch yeah. your ball anymore. They, you, they know you are really full. They were not doing it anymore. Otherwise, sometimes I would be nice with them. He keep eating, eating, eating. Then they were food were coming to your plate, your ball always. Never mm -hmm. end. So mm -hmm. if you think mm -hmm. you are full, you stop eating. Even not also, a chop chopstick also there mm -hmm. is a golden rule in china if you want to be very polite and it's just uh, leave always make that the dinner or lunch have some food left so it means that you are not full so the the one that invites is grateful that he is able to invite you and the, the, the food is already is still on the table so make that, 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 that there is always some, something left, right, Albert? Is this Nobody correct? Nobody like this, but uh, I always thinking now, even the Chinese uh, TV or government say, this is a very bad habit. Oh. But, uh, they said uh, we should not waste, but uh, it is true. I always think why they will put something left. Uh, maybe before, maybe 20 years ago or 30 years ago, China still have a poor country. Only last 30 years we are very fast growing. They, they just want to show we are rich. We have a lot of money. We didn't care. But uh, mm. it makes a very bad habit. But uh, honestly, for me, I will, I will really waste the money, but I will not waste the food. I still know a lot of people in Africa have no enough food. Yes. Yeah, but uh, mm -hmm. this is a very bad habit. And uh, another thing is uh, our American friend, he first time come to China, he go to a Chinese banquet. At the beginning, they have a very nice food come. After he finish it, he's uh, full, but he saw the food courses coming, con continue coming. So sometimes they may come in more food. So uh, it's all depend on. So I would say you will never know what happening if you go to Chinese banquet. So I think just keep for 70% full. At least you are prepare some stomach if something happen. Mm. Okay. Okay, let's go for next slideshow. For Pai Dui. So 
I would say that this is a very, very bad habit in China. Mm -hmm. uh, did you come to China before? Did you say, ch saw Chinese never, uh, didn't take a life? Uh, we didn't see the Chinese do that. Uh, like yeah. Uh, it's all... Sí, pero cuando éramos más pequeñas. We were, eh, cuando éramos más pequeñas. Ajá, uh -huh. when, when they were young. They went to China when they were young. Mm. Uh, Chinese didn't they take a cues? And uh, I would say, I always ask myself why Chinese like doing this. Uh, I will tell you the truth now since it's much more improved, especially coronavirus, makes the people um, take the distance. But before, they like to all crowd in together. But now it's uh, more and more better. But I ask myself why Chinese have uh, such a bad habit. I will look back at the Chinese history. I should say, before the 1980, before the 1980, in China, we shortage everything. So doesn't matter if you go to buy a fruit, buy a ticket, buy a book, anything, we shortage the materials. So we need to, people who are strong, they got it. Do you understand uh, I mean? Because uh, the resources are limited. If you are very polite, let the other people go ahead of you. There, at the end, you have nothing left. So I yes, think uh, maybe they build up this bad uh, habit because uh, before history, we have a short resource. But uh, now it's much better mm -hmm. improving but uh, still not, uh, some people do not like to uh, take a lie. The number one thing I found is in the Chinese public hospital. Doesn't matter you buy the medicine, you are take a lie for registration. Uh, Chinese people do not like to uh, take a cues sometimes, but uh, now is better and better. All done. Mm -hmm. Let's do the next view of myself. Do you know anybody can read this Chinese words? Mm -hmm. So view myself, myself. Uh, in Western, do you agree with this picture? You think you are the number one important as a Spanish? Do you think you are the number one? Sometimes, not not necessarily. But, uh, but you are very well. You are very polite. But uh, in general, Western people, we think Americans. They think they are big and they are the empire and they are the best. And yes or no? Yeah. I, yes, yes, yes. I want people, they think they are very weak. So they think uh, as myself is not important. My family, my group of people is uh, more important. But in China, with the economic growing, uh, this is also the trade to changing. Young people feel a little bit more and more think I'm important. So this is also changing. But uh, like uh, my parents, my grandparents, they think myself is not important. But uh, this is also changing because uh, after we know what happened outside of our world. And uh, okay, this is a big difference. Sunday on the city streets. Uh, I'm not sure, in, in the weekend in Madrid, a lot of people on the street or no? Um, yes. yes, but I think less than in China. Yeah, China. I was yes. think of China on the street, a lot of people. Uh, mm. When I first time to come to American, I always ask myself, where are the people? 
even the big city, I, on the street, I just saw a few cars going by, but didn't see too much people. But in China, every day like holiday, even during the weekend day, on the city street, a lot of people. So I would say China have a larger population. Uh, I think we have a 1.4 billion. And, uh, but uh, right now we have a big problem. The government also realized the young people more likely only won't have one child, one couple, like uh, won't have one child. Before we have a one child policy, but two or three years ago, government agreed let the, a couple have a two children. They expecting they were baby booming time were coming, but uh, such thing not happen in China. They still find that many young couple only want one child. So now we have no population problem. But if uh, all couple only have one child, if those things can keep continuing, continue for future, maybe they think we have a, we will have a population problem. So I'm not sure what will happen. Now we have a lot mm -hmm. of population, but uh, looks like young people do not want to have more children. And uh, mm -hmm. they have uh, two reasons. Raise up uh, young children in China cost a lot of money. Uh, in China, the young kids, they want to do a lot of uh, classes. For like Timothy, he go for piano class. He go for a tennis class. He go for English class. Sometimes he go to a summer camp. So parents know it's cost a lot of money to raise a child, especially in big city. So they think a lot of pressure for economically. I'm not sure what yes. about in Spain. Do you think a young kids, the parents should cost a lot of money? I think like the school and everything, it depends if, it, if you're going to, uh, because here there's public schools that don't cost yeah. as much. And like university. if you compare the, the schools here in Spain with the ones in the United States, they're cheaper. Yeah. Um, uh, but still they, they cost quite a, a lot of money. So yeah. some of them. In China, uh, the public school is uh, better. Because uh, also, in Spain, also in Spain, the public school is always better than the private. Yeah, in China, we do have a private school, but the private school, they just be built recently. So, but the public school, the classroom size is very big. Do you know how many kids in elementary school class, one class, how many students? 50? Oh, how many? Uh, my boy, Timothy, in his class, they have uh, 56. One teacher only? One teacher only. <gasps> oh. And uh, I saw when I was in high school, my, the biggest class I have been joined, we have uh, 106 in one classroom. Mm -hmm. one. It's uh, uh, 30 years ago almost 30 years ago. But oh. Albert, at my university, I, I, I studied in a public university and uh, we were 16, 90 also during my degree, during the economics degree, we were a lot. In the public university in Spain all, also, there is yeah. a lot of people in the class. And when I was young, uh, in my class we were 44. Wow. So in America, the government has said is a 12, Student in one class is the best. How many are you girls? Tell your experience. How many are you? Uh, the maximum we've been uh, 30, is 30, 30 or three, yes, not more. Normally it's 30 the classes. So you, you are went much to private better. school or public school? Yeah. In America, no, private school. Private okay. school, yeah. But in China, public school, elementary school, middle school, high school, as long as the public school, they're all free. This is yeah. one good sense, but uh, bad sense of too many students. Okay, let's go for next one.
the party. Do you know how, how is anybody know these words? Chinese. Party. is a meeting, Kai Hui. Chu is a gathering, gathering meeting, Chu Hui. So in China, we will have a party or gathering. We all like to sit in a circle, especially dinner party. And uh, do you know if you go to dinner party, they have uh, many seats. Do you think you can choose any seats to sit? Or what no. do you think? No, you can't. You can't choose. Yeah. In China, in Western world, you can choose any seat because around the table, do not know. But in China, uh, they have an um, owner's seat. Uh, for example, did you see my, my, my cursor? If uh, this is a gate, this is a door. It's a, a banquet room. Normally, the most important seats is uh, someone facing the, uh, the entrance. Those seats are important. Normally, we will leave the important seats for your leader, for your boss, or for your grandpa, grandma, elder people. There in China, the second best is a left to right. Left is more important than right. There, if you are young children, normally you sit close to the gate or close to the door. Do you understand? Maybe your parents mm -hmm. will sit here, maybe this side. Your grandpa, grandma will sit in, in the middle, facing the entrance. So in another sense, in China, you will toast, right? Gambe, cheers, gambe. So if someone is uh, your grandpa, I have no any other cup with me. I use this one. So your grandpa this, when you're toasting you were, your cup, you should lower your grandpa. Are you understanding? So your grandpa is more yeah. important or your boss is more important. If you uh, toast for your boss, don't do this. This is your mm -hmm. cup, don't do this. You always, so sometimes you always see people toasting like this. Go that everybody want to be, say, mm. show I'm a, how to say, qian xu. Yeah, then you try to go lower. Just a respect to the others. Are you understand? Yes. Okay, let's do mm. the next one. Restaurant. We the same, we are the same as Chinese, even worse. <laughs> that for you is easy. Uh, they think European, you like the quiet, beautiful, with candle. Someone plays the violins, but in China, noisy. Chinese love the noisy. Uh, do you know how Chinese people choose their restaurant? For example, you go mm -hmm. to a new city. They have uh, three or four restaurants around you. How Chinese choose the restaurant? What is they are judged by what? The size. The more sound, the better. Yeah, we will say how many people. If uh, <laughs> they are very crowded, yes. even no seats, you're willing to spend half an hour waiting for the seat. They're always thinking this restaurant food must be good. If other restaurant, they are uh, uh, decorated very nice, very quiet, beautiful, no people there, no, nobody would dare to go inside. They always think uh, the food is not good in there. So I just say mm -hmm. Chinese love noisy. So sometimes I find uh, Chinese and uh, Spanish is a, they have very common, some things are in common, they're similar. Mm. Okay, let's do the next one. For stomachache, 
What do you drink when you have a stomach ache? Hello, girls. What do you drink when you have a stomach cake? Uh, water or sweat or, or Coke. Coke. Yeah. Stomach I found the American oh, women yeah. they drink the Coke. Mm -hmm. What they do is uh, they put the Coke in the cup. They put it inside the microwave to heat it. Ah, I saw the Americans they drink the Coke, a warm Coke. But the Chinese, they drink the tea or special tea, ginger tea. Do you know the ginger? Ginger. Um, ginger is a know. special plant root, ginger. It's a for seasoning we use. So they always think it's good for stomach. Oh. Normally they like to drink the warm, warm drink, mostly tea, warm water. Okay, let's go for next one. When okay. people travel, if you go to travel, Chinese people love the pictures. So they quickly okay. take a picture, yes. go for next one. Mm, go sure. take a picture, go next one. But uh, the, uh, Liu Yang, the, the girl who created this uh, picture, the singer, the Westerner, European, like to enjoy quietly see it to look in, enjoy the sceneries. I know it's time is a take too long, but I will speed up. I didn't want to let you take it too long. Do you think I'm too fast? No. <laughs> I you didn't know I want you are boring. This is a big difference. Chinese ah, yeah. people, yeah, just be they always think the white skin, white. So, if there's uh, sunshine outside, what the Chinese girl will do is they will put an umbrella. They want to burn their skin. They think a white skin is beautiful. Yes. Uh, I've never been the European. I study American, but I saw when sunshine comes spring, a lot of girls go to the playground in the they are go to under the sunshine like this. They want to see mm. the tent, the dark skin. They think uh, dark skin is healthy, but the Chinese mm. they love, love white. Okay, mm. next one. This is some say I do not like Chinese. What uh, if you facing a problem, difficulty? How do you handle this? Do you want to handle the difficulty or you go around? No, we handle the difficulty. No, so I like you the way you are doing. The Chinese, when they feel the difficulty, I cannot go through. They, they try to find, find the other way to go through. But uh, the difficulty always in there. We must uh, need someone to solve this problem, right? If uh, nobody go to handle this, the difficult always in there. So one, uh, daily meal. Chinese eat the warm food, always warm food. Do you know one of the number one popular food in China? What? You heard, especially the Chinese, uh, young people, we always oh, love sure. number one. The soup. No. Hot pot. Soup. Hot no, pot. Right. Ho -guo. Ho -guo. Ho -guo. Ah, see, Ho -guo. Ho -guo. Apuntarlo. Hot pot. Ho -guo. Hay uno en Madrid fantástico. Os llevaré. En cuanto podamos, uno buenísimo que a mí me chifla. I love one in Madrid that is just... I go with my, with my Chinese friends and it's just lovely. Uh, yeah. Chinese. Albert, I miss Ho -guo so much. Right. Chinese like like a hot food. We seldom eat the cold food. So in Spain, did you use a lot of ice? Um, in summer. Yes. yes. Yeah. I saw in American they love use the ice. Everything they put on ice. Yeah. Even winter. 
I come from uh, Minnesota. I go to study Minnesota. Very cold place. Even winter, they still use the ice. Even they drink food. They love the cold food. So this is a big difference. Uh, I took a, a lot of a Chinese uh, family, parents, students go to tour American. The number one since they come arrive the American hotel, they will ask for hot water. They, they do not no way to find the hot water. They can find the ice and the, even the water or their cold water they have uh, put on the refrigerator. So Chinese love, their, they always drink uh, hot water, drink teas. So this is a Chinese habit, stomach, stomach habit. Okay, this is uh, transportation. Before the 70s, the European used cars. They said that now in 2000, European like a bicycle, skateboard, or hiking. Now Chinese uh, use more cars. Uh, in my city, especially the rush hour, it's a uh, traffic is very, very bad. Traffic jam always everywhere. So this is uh, now the differences before and now. A lot of car, almost everyone have a car. Traffic is very bad. But for me, I love use the bicycle. Now we mm -hmm. have the bicycle. I didn't know how to see this. We say it is a gongxiang dangche. You can share the bicycle. You use a cell phone, APP. You scan the bicycle. Mm -hmm. Then you can park it anywhere in the city. So mm -hmm. I, I like this very much. Even now we have an electric bike or even we have electric car. You can just sky and use it. Uh, especially 10 West international students, they like to use electric car, go to the airport. They said it's much cheaper than taxi. So this is the uh, differences. Okay, uh, I want to ask the old people, your grandma, grandpa, their old life, Elder people's life, what do they do? Do they like, uh, uh, how to say, puppy, cats? No, mm -hmm. both. In China, grandpa, grandma always help take care of their, uh, their children. Mm -hmm. So it's You're very popular. Uh, I should say I'm very thankful for my aunt. My aunt loves Timothy a lot. She always come, us, come to help us. Sometimes I'm too busy to go to school, pick up Timothy. My aunt help us. So normally, grandpa, grandma always love to take care of their young kids. What about in Spain, girls? What do you think? Do you, do you have mm. help of your grandmothers or it was more yes, yes. of yeah, yeah, mm. both. Yes, I think that your grandparents also help you. Mm. Yeah, so I was thinking that Spain, Spanish is a, a little bit more like a Chinese compared with the Germany. German yes. people. So because of where you are a little bit south, maybe close to Asia, I have the idea. It's a good thing. Okay, shower time. Do you take a shower in the morning or in the evening? At night, me at night. At me night. So oh, oh no, in the morning. Chinese uh, take a shower at night. Mm. So this is a uh, big difference. Okay, if the weather is bad, it will affect your mood. No, no, I don't, I don't think so. No, I like the rain. But the Chinese don't. The weather do not affect the Chinese mood. I don't think that it it's, it's affects a lot the mood, but so. Mm -hmm. But uh, this uh, Liu Yang said the people in German, the weather is very important. As the weather is good, mm -hmm. they were happy. Weather is bad, they were sad. I found mm -hmm. uh, somehow in America, 
not 100 percent at least 50 or 60 percent it's accurate but for chinese the weather do not affect the chinese uh, uh mood mm. okay mm -hmm. let's go for next one how about the leader in China, the boss, the leader is very important. People will do everything what the leader said. In their family, grandpa, grandma is the number one. They are the oldest. What about in your family or in your school or in your... Uh, yes, also the teacher, is, it has much respect than the students or yes. respect the boss. Yeah, but I think that is good respect to your leader it's good because if everybody is a leader it's a very difficult to manage their school or manage a company or manage a country if everybody yes. want to be a boss everything will be mess okay mm -hmm. let's continue for next one what the trades what the trades for spain i will tell you truth the western restaurant is very popular in China, my boy's favorite restaurant is uh, Burger King. He must mm -hmm. love the Burger King very much. Also, he likes pizza. He is mm -hmm. Chinese, but he loves the Western, Western food. In European, do you like a Chinese food or Asian food? Yes, we like Chinese and Asian food. Yeah, I think uh, this is a treat today. European more like Asian food, Asia more like European food. Okay, what about the children? Do you know a famous saying in China? What we will say for a little baby in family? That it's, I don't know. We well, say that he, they are little emperor, Xiao Huang Di. Uh, or we right. say that the sun, the sun, everyone circle around, the star circle around the sun. Mm -hmm. So, but in European, the children and is similar with the other people. Do you agree? Yes, yes. In China, because uh, why everyone circle around the children, as I said, we have a one child policy. The three normally in one family, three generation, so they only have one child. Everyone loves this child, so this child becomes a. This children become the emperor. They are the center of the family. Okay, let's go for next one. Perception of each other. They said uh, for Chinese, we think German people they put on the head and eat the sausage, drink the beers. What do you think about the Chinese? Do you yes, rice. Drink yes. the tea, eat the mm. rice, yes. put yes. the Asian head. So mm. this is what I'm prepared for you for today's uh, uh, share the cultural differences between European and China. The second, one more last sense. What do we think? Uh, this is, I found that Asian people and the Westerners think things. For example, when you write the address, do you start from the Zoom number? For example, apartment 301, first day well, building three, street, hey, yes. the mm. state, the country. But the Chinese don't. Chinese are upset. We will write the address. Okay. We shall first we do the China. Then we put the province, Yunnan. Then the third will be the city, Kuomin. The last will be the apartment, 301. We do okay. the opposite. Mm -hmm. So I always think uh, as a Chinese, when I think about uh, something, we will think of the big picture first. They're going narrow down one point. Do you thinking solve the problem? Do you think about a point? Let us see the big picture. Other way around, right? Okay. So mm -hmm. 
I always think a Westerner and the Chinese, there are such differences. Yes. Okay, so this that's all for today. Okay. So any question, Fisher, you can ask me any question. If you have hey, okay, we don't have any questions. Everything okay, sorry, I think it's too long. I know, I know. No, no, no. the sense all Chinese words and uh, Chinese pinyin and the group of WeChat. Okay. Okay, have a wonderful day. You too. Bye bye. bye. bye.